nobody knows what causes it, and nobody knows how to cure it. The best theory is that we blame a retrovirus, the human immunodeficiency virus. Its presence is made known to us by the useless antibodies, which will appear in reaction to its presence in the body through a cut or an orifice. The antibodies are powerless to defend the body against it. Why, we don't know. The body's immune system ceases to function and sometimes the body even attacks itself. At any rate, it's left open to a whole horror house of infections which it would normally defend against. Like Kaposi sarcomas, these lesions, or your throat problem, or the glands. We think it may also be able to slip past the blood-brain barrier into your brain itself, which is, of course, very bad news. And it's fatal, Roy. Fatal in we don't know what percent of people with suppressed immune responses like yours. This is all very interesting, Mr. Fucking Wizard, but why are you telling me this? Well, we removed one of three lesions which biopsy results tells us is a Kaposi sarcoma lesion. And you have a pronounced swelling of the glands in your neck, groin, armpits all over. Lymphadenopathy is another sign. There's also the oral candidiasis and maybe a little more fungus under the fingernails of your right hand. So that's why... This disease... Syndrome... Whatever. It afflicts mostly homosexuals and drug addicts. Mostly. Hemophiliacs are also... Homosexuals and drug addicts. So why are you implying that... What are you implying, Henry? I'm not trying to imply anything. Say it. Say what? Say it. Say, Roy Cohn, you are a... Come on, Henry. It starts with an H, and it isn't hemophiliac. What are you doing, Roy? I'm dead serious. Say it. Say, Roy Cohn, you are a homosexual. And I will proceed to systematically destroy your reputation, your practice, and your career in New York State. Which you know I can do. Roy, you've been seeing me since 1968. Apart from the faceless, I've treated you for everything. From syphilis... From a hooker in Dallas. From syphilis to venereal warts in your rectum. Which you may have gotten from a hooker in Dallas, but it wasn't a female hooker. So say it. Roy Cohn, you are a... You're very sick, Roy. You've slept with many, many men. And one of them, or any number of them, has made you this way. You have AIDS, Roy. AIDS. Your problem, Henry, is that you're caught up on labels. You seem to think they mean what they seem to mean. AIDS, homosexual, gay, lesbian. You think these words tell you who someone sleeps with, but they won't tell you that. They won't? No. Like all labels, they'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Where an individual lies in the pecking order, where they sit on the food chain. Not ideology or sexual preference, but something much simpler. Clept. Not who I fuck or who fucks me, but who'll pick up the phone when I call, who owes me favors. That is what a label refers to. Now you label me as homosexual because I have sex with men. That's wrong. A homosexual is not a man who sleeps with other men. A homosexual is a man who, after 15 years of trying, can't get a pissant anti-discrimination bill passed through City Hall Council. A homosexual is a ghost, Henry. He knows nobody and nobody knows him. He has zero clout. Does that sound like me, Henry? No. That's right, I have clout. I fucking have clout. You know who I could have on the phone in 15 minutes, Henry? The president. And the first lady. I'm impressed. I don't want you to be impressed. I want you to understand. This is not sophistry and this is not hypocrisy. This is reality. I have sex with men. But I'm like every other faggot out there for whom this is true, I bring the man I'm screwing to the White House. And President Reagan shakes our hands and smiles at us. Because what I am is entirely defined by who I am. Roy Cohn is no faggot. He's no homosexual. 
Roy Cohn is a heterosexual man who fucks around with guys. Okay, Roy. So what is my diagnosis? You have AIDS, Roy. No, Henry. AIDS is what the homosexuals have. I have liver cancer. Well, whatever the fuck you have, Roy, it's very serious and I've got a damn thing for you. Now, the NIH in Bethesda has a new drug called AZT with a two-year waiting list that not even I can get you on. So call up the first lady, Roy, and tell her you need it in on an experimental treatment for liver cancer. Because you can call it any damn thing you want, but it all boils down to the same thing, Roy. Bad news.